shale gas production in the U.S. has increased 12-fold over the last decade and is expected to continue at this rate through 2035. Five trillion cubic feet was produced in 2010, and this is expected to increase to 13.6 trillion cubic feet in 2035. The positive implications of this are increased domestic production, lower prices, reduced imports, enhanced energy security, increased jobs, increased royalties and taxes for state and federal governments, the potential negative implications, however, are increased consumption of fresh water, up to 10 million gallons per well, the potential for water resource contamination, just how significant the risk is for this is currently under study, and local impacts, things like increased truck traffic, noise, dust, land disturbance. The next graphic shows the major shale plays across the globe. Much of these resources are located in North and South America, but occur on virtually all the major continents. Northern Russia has reserves mostly in poorly habitable areas. The top three for shale gas reserves are the U.S., China, and Argentina. The top three for oil are Russia, U.S., and China. In addition to these, other countries having large reserves include Canada, Algeria, Mexico, Australia, and Poland. The next graphic shows the growth in shale gas over the last few years and is somewhat astounding. There has been explosive growth in several new areas of the country. In addition to the Barnett in Texas, there has been exceptional growth in the Marcellus Shale in Pennsylvania and West Virginia, and the Haynesville Shale in Louisiana and Texas. Other contributors are the Woodford in Oklahoma, the Eagleford in Texas, the Bakken in North Dakota, and the Fayetteville in Arkansas. This next chart shows how shale gas is expected to account for half of all natural gas output for the U.S. by the year 2040. The implications for this are more jobs in those areas of the country and cheaper energy 